Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? It happens to all of us. Hi, everybody. It's uh, Miss Susan from Idlewild Library, and uh, I'm so glad that you all joined me today for story time. We have a really special Can I one. Can I and um, but before we get started, I want to make sure that I thank the Idlewild Nature Center, part of Riverside County Parks, as well as the friends from the San Jacinto Mountain County Park System, too, for helping us to bring story time to you today. And this month, November, is a really special month. It's called Native American Heritage Month. So that means we celebrate Native Americans from all over our country. And today we're going to celebrate our local Native Americans, the Cahuilla Indians. And before we get started, um, I want to teach you another ASL sign. Remember, we've been learning them at every story time. So this one, and see if you can guess what our story time is going to be about. Okay, so make a C with your hand, like that, and then put it up next to, around where your side of your eye is, and then go like this. And that means moon. 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 And then if we want to add this, that means girl. So this story is going to be about what? What do you think it's going to be about? Moon girl? Moon girl. Yeah, about a, a moon girl. Very good. And we have a very special guest with us today. Her name is Mary McKay, and she's the librarian at the, um, let me get this correct, the Ramona Band of Cahuilla Tribal Library. So, and so her library is located just over in Anza. And I'm sure she'd love to have you visit her there sometime. And so we're very happy to have Kay McKay here today. But before I begin her story, she wanted me to read this little uh, introduction to her story. It's the Cahuilla Indians believed that powerful beings called the Nukatim were the first to be created. Manil, the moon maiden was one of them. And so, what did we learn? Moon? Girl. Girl. This story is going to be about Manil, the moon maiden. And her legend is very important to the Cahuilla people. And the Cahuilla people are the ones who lived actually right here part of the year. So, um, and, and just imagine if you know, hundreds of years ago, they were all over the, this, this mountain and this area right here specifically. And she, Manil, is a mother figure who, uh, who taught her adopted children, that would be like us, uh, the lessons they needed for their health, well-being, and survival. So she taught them how to survive and how to find food and and uh, how to take care of themselves. Her story teaches us important lessons about educating and teaching our children. So what we teach our children, it helps them to be able to teach their children. And so um, now I'd like to introduce Kay McKay. Thank you, Kay. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I was sharing with Susan how much I miss little kids. I don't get to see them very much. A long time ago, when, when creation was new, the moon was a maiden and she walked the earth. She was beautiful and wise and her spirit shines so brightly that all living things loved her. Her name was Manil. Manil had special affection for the people. She felt sorry for them because they did not know how to do things. 
so the moon took care of them like her teacher. Minyil took the people to the water. She showed them how to bathe and how to wash their hair and their body to stay clean. Minyil taught the men how to play games, to run and race. The moon maiden even painted her people different colors and taught them about moieties and marriage. A moiety is a marriage group. Each one was given a moiety. One is coyote. You could call it Bobcat. Now, Nanil did not know that she was being watched by Coyote. He was watching her with the people and decided that he wanted her for his wife. Coyote told Nanil that if she did not marry him, he would take away all of her people. This caused the Moon Maiden such distress because she loved her children and did not want them to be harmed. So she decided to leave. That night, she walked away from the village. She kept going and going further and further away. She went so far that she went all the way up to the sky. The next morning, the people woke and they could not find her. Coyote looked and looked and looked for Minyil all day long. He could not find her at all. When night came, Coyote saw the Moon Maiden's face in the pool of water. And he came and he drank and drank and drank that water, trying to get to the Moon Maiden, but he could not. Finally, Coyote looked up into the sky and saw where Manil was. The people saw too and they begged her to return, but instead she told them that everything would be all right and reminded them of all the things she had taught them. The Moon Maiden told them to pass these lessons to their children, and she also said no matter where, she would always be watching over them. And so she has every ever since. And every now and then, you hear Coyote calling out to Manil in the night 
come back, come back, come back. But she cannot. Why? The end. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please smile down on me?